All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We've had a blast uh, building this robot over the last three days. Uh, a few key takeaways for us, uh, this box pickup mechanism has a lot of promise, shows like it can work. I've seen other R3D teams make it work. Our mileage was less successful. Uh, it worked some of the time. Uh, you know, we saw, you saw it. We were able to get the cube in the scale some of the time, but it's not super reliable. So definitely a few more iterations of the prototypes, better, uh, more tight tolerance uh, for manufacturing, and this looks like a real promising design. <clears throat> the hook for a climber uh, had a couple key aspects that I think are uh, you can take away. Uh, the cable guides for some kind of a, a steel cable for a winch uh, seemed to work really well, you know, kind of as planned. The release mechanism works as planned. Uh, the power train seemed to work pretty much as planned, uh, if not a little slow. Uh, and there, we just have to kind of optimize the path and the hardware that we're using. Uh, and I think that shows a lot of promise too. But I think the biggest takeaway from this robot is this lift mechanism, this arm with the dart actuators. I think that worked really well. This is a, a piece of uh, engineering and design that took a lot of thinking ahead of time, a lot of CAD, uh, a lot of calculations. And I think it really paid off. It showed, you know, the strength of a mechanism like this, uh, you know, can, can be achieved in the bounds of this game and be really useful. So I, I encourage you to take a detailed look at that. Uh, and if you want a more detailed look at it, I encourage you also to go check out the walkthrough video. We go through a lot of this stuff in detail. I talk about dimensions and measurements and control systems and things like that. So check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm excited to see what you come up with this build season.